the Pacific Crest Trail, one of the three major long distance hiking trails in the US, starts at the Mexican border in California, goes through the desert, then hits the Sierra Nevada mountain range and continues up to the state of Oregon. You go through the entire state of Oregon to the border of Washington state and eventually you make it to the border with Canada, approximately 2,650 miles. All right, what's up? Welcome to PCT Central, the gear station down in the basement. I wasn't gonna do a gear video, um, but I'm pretty much ready to go and I'm getting antsy. I still have like three weeks before uh, my start date in April. So figured I'd just shoot a quick little video with the gear I'm taking. It's a cool little calendar we got when you join the uh, PCTA. So today it's March 13th and still have about three weeks before we fly out. Um, so yeah, if you've watched any of my previous videos, the pack I've used for all my big trips has been this Aether. So I looked at the Hyperlights. I had looked at a few other ones. I don't see a reason to change, so I'm not going to. Um, this is like my, uh, miscellaneous first aid kind of thing. I am on a blood thinner, so I do have to take a few more items than I normally would just in case I get, uh, a bad cut. I have some things that can clot, clot up, uh, the blood, some Tylenol, maybe we'll take it. Um, Got some tape to repair the pack. That's come in handy. Just a little bit of Gorilla Tape and also uh, a little tape for any kind of blisters and a little bit of Neosporin. Um, no one will ever accuse me of being ultralight. So that's the beginning. All right, the next big thing is what am I bringing in for clothes and base layers? I think I've got a really good system dialed in over the past... Uh, three, four years in particular, where I've done a bunch of, if you look at some of the prior playlist, I've been out for uh, two weeks to 20 nights in a row, um, one without a resupply and a couple of other ones in some cold weather. So I'm not a puffy jacket kind of guy. I prefer to have on uh, like a fleece layer and then a windbreaker on top. So what works for me is I'll have a long sleeve, lightweight tech wick which will be my daily wearer. And then I have um, this Patagonia lightweight capoline base layer, which will go on top if it's a little chilly. Um, then I have the Patagonia R1 if it's really cold. And then the Patagonia torrent shell, uh, the windbreaker, and that always keeps me nice and warm. Um, I am gonna bring the sun hoodie uh, we'll see if I actually keep it or I uh, send it back home. The bucket hat works really nice for me. I'll also have probably a baseball cap. I've got a hat and a light pair of gloves, socks, one longer pair, and I pretty much destroy darn tufts because I, uh, I won't wear gaiters. So I have a couple extra pairs of darn tufts. And then because I'll be in town, I know some people don't even bother with the town clothes, but I'll just have a lightweight short sleeve t-shirt and um, just the uh, the shorts part of a zippable uh, pant system. So I'll have an extra pair of pants I can wear when I'm doing laundry. And that is it for the clothes. Okay, sleep system. Be using the uh, Nemo Disco 30. 
Just uh, started using it last year, really like it. I had a 35 degree bag for a long, long time. So I sleep kind of hot, so the 30 will be fine. Um, the Thermarest Neolite, uh, that's you blow up. And for the tent, always have used uh, a Big Agnes backpacking with Sarah. So um, I got a Big Agnes Copper Spur two person for this trip. For years I had used uh, an Eastern Mountain Sports two person and it served me well for about 10 years, but it was on its last leg. So splurged for the new tent and hopefully it holds up, holds up well on the trail, we'll see. All right, the cooking system, that's a no brainer for me. Um, I've been using the Jet Boil for a long time now. Years ago, you used the uh, Pocket Rocket and that was fine, but you just can't beat the Jet Boil especially with uh, having enough fuel um, is gonna be an issue just because I plan on uh, minimizing my resupply stops and my town stops. So I'm gonna have uh, easily eight to 12 days uh, in between fuel stops. So I think the jet boil just does an awesome job with using the fuel. And really just some miscellaneous stuff these GSI mugs, I think they're great. They actually keep things hot for a while. We'll have the Bear Vault. Um, I've been using a Bear Vault for a long time, even where places it's not really necessary. So I have no problem carrying the Bear Vault, like I said. And then one thing for me that really makes a huge difference that I know is really a luxury item and a lot of people don't carry um, is a camp chair. Been using the Crazy Creek for years. Really, it's more for at the end of the day when I'm in the tent and getting situated and you have a couple hours in the tent at night, um, just having that back support. And then on those days where you might not be able to do a lot of mileage and you're sitting in the tent all day, which has happened to me uh, <laughs> every now and then, it just makes such a difference having that back support and being able to sit up. So that's one thing that... Um, 10 years ago, if you told me I'd be carrying a camp chair, I would have, would have laughed at you. But uh, I have seen the light. For me, it works. And this, I mean, everyone's got their own system and their own way of doing things, right? Um, I'm definitely more on the heavier side, but I'm no stranger to that pack or that weight. I get asked all the time, how much does your pack weigh? I don't know. I don't care. The pack is comfortable to me. I can get in good miles and uh, be super comfortable. And... That works for me. Some people want to be ultra light or somewhere in between. That works for them. Great. Uh, whatever works, works, right? So this is what works for me. Um, definitely look at those old timey photos of people without the PCT back in the 70s or the 80s and look at their packs. So I'm lighter than those. Um, the one other thing that just because I've been doing it forever and I really think it'd be fine for me. So I'm going to start out that way is I'm uh, going to use a hydration bladder because it's what I've always done. Um, I'll have the smart water bottles, but I'll just be using them for like camp at night to fill up water to boil, probably. Um, but I'm definitely going to start with a hydration bladder because I drink a lot of water and, uh, you know, I can get more water out of the hydration bladder and the extra weight really doesn't bother me. So Stay tuned to see how that all works out when I'm actually on the trail. You know, there's a big difference between doing three weeks and three to six months. So let's see what I stick with and what changes. Um, I'm definitely op open to change, but I'm going to at least initially start with the system that works and uh, we'll go from there. So super stoked to get started, but still have like three weeks of waiting around. So not thrilled about that. I'm ready to go. So we'll see you, see you soon. Oh, and I guess one more thing to talk about is what am I doing for resupply? Um, there's certain food I like. And so instead of gambling on what might be available in town, I am, I am going to go with the sending resupply packages, either the post offices or um, stores or hotels along the way. So I've already scoped out all the places I potentially want to have something. 
we've got all the bags ready to go. And then I'll just have a little thing uh, for Sarah, my wife. As it gets closer to actually sending it, she'll ship it out. So I can, uh, I can go pick it up. And also had these uh, cool stickers made. I've seen other through hikers do this kind of stuff. I think it works really well where, you know, just has your name. It's like a purple color. So it'll stand out picture of nachos. Give me some motivation and so slap them on the uh, priority mailboxes um, to ship stuff out. If everything goes according to plan and who knows if that'll actually happen, uh, it'll be 19 different resupplies, uh, maybe 18 if I decide to skip sending one to Kennedy Meadows South, because I think there's pretty good resupply there. But um, yeah, that's it for now. See you later.